Hey everyone, Houston Math Prep here. This is our dividing fractions video. Uh, we want to make sure that everybody has watched the multiplying fractions video before you watch the dividing fractions video. Uh, being good with the multiplying of fractions is going to be really key in order to do the dividing of fractions. So make sure that you've checked that out first or you're already good with that skill. Uh, the reason we want to do that is because dividing with fractions, we don't really do dividing with fractions. At least not the way we're going to talk about it. We are going to, instead of divide fractions, we are going to multiply by, do you know what? By the reciprocal. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Division is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. The reciprocal is when we flip the fraction over and the numerator becomes the denominator and vice versa. Okay, so in this first one, we have 2 thirds divided by 1 over 5. So what we want to do is change that problem into 2 thirds multiplied by reciprocal times 5 over 1. So we're always going to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction, right? Divided by 1 fifth, change the second fraction. So times 5 over 1. All right, now multiplying fractions means we just go straight across once we get to this part. So 2 times 5 is 10, and 3 times 1 is 3, and our answer is in lowest terms already 10 over 3. Not so bad, huh? So if you're good with multiplying, you just flip that second one over and use the reciprocal. So here, I notice I have a negative, so I want to think about, okay, negative and a positive when I write this down, right? So negative 7 over 8 times reciprocal would be 4 over 3. Now, negative times a positive is going to be a negative, so I write that down, decide that first. Um, I could go ahead and say 7 over 4, or sorry, 7 times 4 is 28, and 8 times 3 is 24, but then I could reduce that, right? Both of these are divisible by 4, so I would get negative 7 if I divide by 4 on the top and 6 on the bottom if I divide by 4. So negative 7 over 6. Now in our multiplying video I want to show this real quick just like we did over there. So if I'm at this stage I'm going to assume that we already said multiply by the reciprocal and we already knew to do that and so here we're at this step. Now we said in the multiplying video what you can do is look along the way instead of wait till the end to simplify common factors. And here we'll look and see maybe that 4 and 8 have a common factor, they're both divisible by 4. So if I divide 4 by 4, I would get 1. If I divide 8 by 4, I would get 2. And then again, negative times a positive will give me negative. 7 times 1 on the top is now smaller, 7. And 2 times 3 on the bottom is also smaller, 6. And it arrives already reduced for us. Okay, let's go on to some others. So here I have negative 4 over 15 divided by negative 3 halves. So we're going to take that as negative 4 over 15 multiply by negative 2 over 3. Reciprocal, we don't change the sign, okay? Reciprocal just means numerator and denominator swap places, so the negative stays. So in this case, because I'm multiplying with two things that are the same sign, even though they're both negative, a negative times a negative is a positive. So I have a positive answer, and then here if I go straight across, I have 2 times 4 is 8, and 15 times 3 will give me 45 on the bottom nothing to reduce on that one. If I look at this one, here we have a whole number. And remember when we're dealing with fractions, sometimes we like to treat that as a fraction itself. So what you could do is say negative 5 over 13 divided by 2 over 1 because if we see it as 2 over 1, then when we change it into multiplication, it's easier to see what goes where, right? So negative 5 over 13 multiplied by reciprocal becomes times 1 half. The 1 is on the top, the 2 is on the bottom. All right, going straight across, let's decide our sign first. Negative times a positive is a negative because they're opposite signs. 5 times 1 on the top gives us 5, and then 13 times 2 will give us 26. All right, good. So whole number is no problem there either with division and fractions. Here, I've written the division a different way. So this is 4 over 7, and then we're over 3 over 5. So remember that 
fractions are really just division, right? So this is another way to say divided by. So this is really the same as saying four over seven divided by three over five. And of course we know what we would do is change that into multiply by reciprocal, right? So four over seven times five over three and then nothing to reduce in here it looks like ahead of time so we'll just go straight across four times five being 20 and seven times three being 21. Similar thing on this bottom one although you notice what I've done is I've not put a fraction in the bottom although we can make six into a fraction right so remember we can think of this as six over one so what this problem really is saying in the other way is negative two over nine divided by negative six over one. And of course, you're gonna turn that into multiply by reciprocal. So negative two over nine is actually gonna be multiplied by, remember, don't change your sign with reciprocal, negative one over six. I'm gonna jump down the line so I don't run out of room here. So negative times negative will be positive. And you can decide before or after to reduce your common factor. I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now. So two and six have a common factor. They're both divisible by two. So I'm gonna divide by two here and get one. I'll divide by two here and get three. Negative times negative is positive. One times one on the top will give me one. And nine times three on the bottom will give me 27. Okay, so those weren't too bad, I hope. Some things to remember dividing with fractions. You gotta make sure you know how to do the multiplying fraction stuff first, where you multiply straight across and how to figure out your signs. Um, we're gonna change that division into a multiply problem just by changing the second, um, the second number there into the reciprocal. And then you'll just use your multiply rules for multiplying with fractions. Of course, always reduce that answer. Hope this helped you guys. Thanks a lot.